Hello and welcome to something totally different within Hell at least. We've got a 6v6 going on today. Uh, we have got two teams playing, KGRR uh, and Esperal team. It's going to be a really, really good game, I think, for this one. Um, where we're going to be fighting over a horrendous point uh, to fight over. Just to say, up in the top left it says you can use exclamation mark rules for match details in the chat. I hope it works. I, I haven't tested it, if I'm honest with you. Um, but as a as a sort of very quick rundown, um, it's going to be uh, 6v6 over the uh, middle cap sector only. Um, and then it's going to be outposts uh, within the cap sector only, garrisons placed elsewhere on the map. Uh, and the match starts as soon as the server flips, which it already has done. So let us switch into uh, the game here. Not sure where my stats have gone. Let's have a quick look. Let's see. Looks like the stats are good. Um, so, yeah, as I said, uh, it's going to be outposts only within the cap sector. Garrisons uh, elsewhere in the, your, your sort of blue zone area, or obviously the red zone here. Um, the, the game, the, the, op the, the objective of the game, as in hell at least as always, cap the point. Uh, if the game is, uh, if the point is being capped at the end of the game, then you'll have uh, you'll have overtime at that stage. So, as we kind of wait for the warm up to stop, because this game, you know, it's already is already started. It'll be twenty minutes uh, from once this warm up wall uh, finishes. So we can see here a couple of locations being placed there um, by Louis, who seems to be um, sort of quite and quite commanding uh, the KGR um, R team. We can see here. They're all kind of stacked within within three squads, um, and they're playing up against uh, the Esperal team today from NZN. Um, a lot of these teams are from NZN. Obviously, with it being only six v six, you can get plenty of teams out of out of one community, uh, which is always nice. So the meta on this one, I don't know. I don't know what the meta is going to be, to be honest with you, because um, we haven't uh, we haven't played this before, or at least I haven't played this before, and not even seen it or even heard of it until until this morning. Um, Certainly, you can uh, you can get in touch with uh, with me. You can uh, in the chat ask about it, and I can get you uh, get you in touch with the guy who who runs this. Uh, that wouldn't be too much of a problem. I wouldn't have thought. But I have a feeling it's going to be uh, we're going to see kind of just sort of one player out on the wings, really holding down these flanks here, um, and then we, uh, you know team stack in the the center here um, just to try and get that cap pressure. And if they can then really push off uh, off the cap line. Um, then uh, they'll be in good shape to try and box out other teams. Box out is going to be pretty difficult though, with only six people um, and the cap sector being so wide. Um, we're we're going to be seeing uh, plenty of uh, um, plenty of wide action and, and flanks going on here. I, I would imagine. Um, we'll certainly see what the, the the tactic is here though. Perhaps Louis here um, is going to be placing all of the garrisons. I'm not too sure. Um, because they're certainly running a truck into the point already. Let's zoom ourselves across to the other side of the map and see what the other team is up to. Um, let me press H once so I can see this truck coming in here. Um, sort of similar style going on here. Um, one truck, just two people in it though. Um, so maybe they've got another truck somewhere else coming in. Um, and then we've got uh, one player hopping out to build garrisons. It's going to be a little bit different for me today because uh, I often uh, zoom out and get a wider view of the map. Uh, whereas today I'm certainly going to be uh, pretty pretty close up and personal with these players. Um, this truck here, stopping early it seems, and I'm not sure whether that was the idea. Maybe they didn't want to get caught up the road um, by some roguish MG or something like that. Um, certainly a uh, potential. I would have wanted to have seen this truck get all the way up into the strong point though. Um, just so you can get up on top of this house, but there's no reason why these guys couldn't build a build a Belgian gate or something. But using Pierre's farm, using the uh, using the map to your advantage w would be pretty pretty good here. And getting up on top of this rooftop certainly one way of doing that. Got a couple of players just making their way into the strong point for now. I would say that the NZN guys here, and I'm going to call you NZN, even though I believe you you are the Esperal team. Um, I'll try and remember to call you Esperal. Um, the, the guys in red, the the Axis team here, um, certainly uh, are in a better spot, but they need to maybe just pressure just slightly more here um, just to be able to uh, catch these guys out in the open. 
because Tebexor here is certainly in a good spot now that he's been able to get himself into this trench line. Um, and as we move around here, um, a Beecaster there up on top of the crates in a lovely spot. If he can get a little angle, I'm not sure what his view would be from up there, though. Um, I think he's going to just try and catch anyone crossing there, if I'm honest with you. I think we've had first blood, though, um, which is nice. That was uh, that was uh, Makatoza. Makatoza there. Uh, getting that first kill. I did see though, I did see a little bit of a, a little bit of a wide play here, which is interesting. Um, we see Alavi there and Burza making their way all the way around the outside. Now, I feel like they might have gone outside of the play area. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe I don't didn't understand the rules, but I thought maybe they'd have gone outside the play area. Maybe that's allowed though. Maybe you can go anywhere on the map. Um, you see over at Pizza Slice, got a couple of people out there um, from the uh, from the KGR RT. But for right now, this point's going the way of the Esperal team. Just one player on the strong point now, and that's Beecaster. And he's not in a good spot. I'd want to see him further back um, and get himself really out of the way with that MG. Uh, there are some fantastic spots you can use um, on St. Marie Dumont. That is not one of them, though. <laughs> when you're that close with the MG, it's, you're, not in a, you're not in good shape. But for now, they've got total control. If they can, if Artista here... Um, can make his way out of the from this hedgerow and just catch one or two more players. Um, then actually they'll uh, they'll be in really a really good position to um, uh, get this cap sewn up. Because what if they can push them all the way to the edge of this wall and even and outside of this wall line here in the center of Askerin, then we'll certainly see uh, Pierre Sram get locked down pretty easily, um, and we'll have to see plenty of players um, starting to come from Pizza Slice area, I would imagine, or, or some other sort of wide um, flanking maneuver. Looks like those wide players from Esperal team have been marked already, and um, they're certainly known about being over there. I'll take a quick look at the map, because that might even be a garrison, that pinged heart. Notes the outpost there from Charlie Squad, and um, the ping are not able, though. Getting himself into a good spot here onto the flank of Artista. Let's take a quick look over here. Smola here. I might even catch a uh, red pill in the back. He's just got to pick his targets nice and carefully one at a time. I want to rush these shots. He's got to make sure they connect. Smola here. He's going to peek this corner. He's going to spot red pill. Going to get Duzek. Kills Duzek. Gets red pill as well. Nice play. Artista knows he's there now, so Smola backs off. That's good play. And that's stopped the cap already. Smola's just going to hang around in this wheat field, be a bit of a nuisance here. Got to get rid of Artista. That is important. But for now, he's okay. I suppose more importantly, he is alive uh, in the backfield, and he can be a bit of a nuisance here. Uh, Makatozo here, still in a good spot here, just in this hedgerow. Should be able to catch um, Andy if he comes across. Beecast is still alive, hanging out as well. We'll see which way Beecast is facing, though, because he might be facing back towards his outpost. He is, actually. Um, nice from him. Got that uh, BAR as the MG gunner here. So he does have a little bit more uh, maneuverability. Andy gets his outpost, but inside the point, though... This is a, that's a real aggressive outpost, and he sits on top of it to defend it. He's going to win his gunfights if this is the plan he's going to go for. Um, certainly a risky play, but certainly he could have lost his outpost further up as Charlie Squad were making their way round. Now we see Smola still in the backfield here. Duzek and Artista not looking his way anymore. So they're thinking it's just one, one lone shooter, not, nothing to worry about. But it is a full outpost. Dushek there, good eyes, takes down Smola, and surely he's going to feel something's up. He's looking back towards Pizza Slice now, um, and there is, you know, one more player out here. We've got Louis down this way now. He is certainly out on the width, so back into the strong point here, because it seems like we've got someone making a bit of a move. Got Tebexor here, looking to peek round. He does have eyes on um, Makatozo. I think he should just be able to see him. Maybe not, though. Gets the grenade out. It's a good grenade. Right up towards Makatozo. Takes down Red Pill as well while he's at it. Grenade falls just a little bit short for Makatozo. Tebexel there. He's been shot at. He just doesn't react to Artista though. Makatozo's a bit an absolute nuisance in here though at the moment. 
not going to allow anyone to to push at all. Andy goes down from a shot from behind. Burz has got himself in the rear. As everyone on the point has gone down now. So Andy's outpost sh should... Oh, it's even been taken down. It must have been grenaded at some stage as well. So great play from Burza getting that wide attack on Makatoza there being a real nuisance as well and not be, not allowing them to push through. Um, and he just held them up and delayed them. But the real danger now comes on Artista's side here as we do have... Um, this is going to be Smoller again, isn't it? Yes, Smoller's out and um, taking that wider route round. And we've got Louis in narrowing off as well and uh, Jakob um, coming through now as well at the same time. We'll see, because he, he, he's been looked at by Artista. Artista seems to know something's up down here, but Jakob's not looking the right way. Just needs to turn, and he could should be able to actually uh, win this engagement versus Artista if he gets the right angle on it. Oh, he pushes slightly too far, though. He gets taken down by Artista. Poor move from him there. Just pushing around that hedgerow slightly poorly there. Heard some gunshots below as well. Seems like Smola um, getting a bit of engagement. He goes down, though, um, to Dushek there. Bringing up the STG. Up in the point, the B-caster goes down to Makatozo. To Bexel there with good fire onto Makatozo, who finally goes down. Burz has got the angle on him there. He's going to pick him off, surely. Misses his first couple of shots and gives to Bexel a bit of an opportunity here with that grease gun uh, to do some damage. We all know that is a headshot and machine. You can see there, just through the wall, He's not looking, the, he's, he's having to look to at different angles here, Burza. Peeks out though. Tobexel doesn't get the, uh, doesn't get the angle right, unfortunately. He can't get the kill on. Burza chucks his grenade down and Tobexel might even run into this grenade, actually. And he does, good grenade there um, from Burza as Andy goes down as well. This is going to be Makatoza again. The outpost is in the point. Lavi's spawned in narrow and he's been taken down. That was a bit of a long range shot. I can't even find who's uh, who shot him there. It was a bit of a bit of a distance, though. See, Smoler's outpost did get wiped. Louis has uh, still got himself wrapped around, though. Let's go check this out as Louis makes his way round. His outpost is vulnerable here to Dushek, but I think he spots him. Louis with good shots there, uh, takes him down and makes sure of it as well with a little double tap. And Louis continues his uh, his progression around the outside here. Certainly seems like that early flank round uh, is is very, very strong. And the Esperal team made really good use of it as well uh, by flanking around and then coming back in towards the point. Uh, certainly, if they'd have won their opening gunfights um, quickly, they'd have been in a good position to box out onto those garrisons. But as, uh, as they didn't, they were able to push back in towards the point uh, and really uh, secure that, that area. Bicas is loving this, loving this BAR here. I'd want to see, I want to see a bit more on the M1 Garand here. Um, Jakob, surely he's, someone's got, someone's got eyes, surely, on Lavi. Lavi, and this is why you want the M1 Garand, because he would have taken him down in one. Um, but gets to kill anyway, and then Jakob also gets one on Artista, who goes down for the first time in this game. Looking at the top killer, Dushek there, um, with six kills so far, being a real a real pain uh, with these uh, these garrison spawns back here. Um, really trying to get rid of uh, really trying to get rid of Louis uh, from this wheat field. Louis going to keep his outpost back though, and we then see Smola out onto the other side as well, and um, pushing himself back in towards the point. Dushek gets one more. Artista goes down again. That's two in a row from Artista. Unable to stay alive at the moment. Jakob pushes. He is vulnerable. But he's got himself relatively safe now. Going to have to try and get rid of Lavi if he can. But he does have Dushek um, coming for him. Uh, from this southern side here. So first shots. Jakob does manage to take down Berza. Nice play from him. To Bexor goes down at the same time as well. And Dushek comes up and gets that kill. So far, so good here um, for the Esperal team. But Andy, oh, look at this, Andy. Keep going, buddy. They're going to make that fine. Get that outpost up on that wall and it'll be golden. Get up on that wall and then maybe just go sit in this hopper. Um, get that elevation. You should be able to control the road at that stage. 
What's interesting with only being 6v6 is neither team particularly committing anyone to the MG from afar, um, really focusing on uh, capturing this strong point. Oh, great play from Smoler. Takes down two with no return there. Um, and then wipes the outpost at the same time as well. Great play from Smoler. Really, really nice. A little bit more pressure. He's been peaked here um, by Burza. Smoler uh, doesn't know that just yet. Burza gets taken down, though, from someone from within Smoler's squad. And then we're going to see Lavi making this push as well. But Smoler's slowly working his way forward, getting smokes out, being a real nuisance. Lavi doesn't know which angle to hold. And Smoler just backs off. Looks like he's going to try and go for that uh, safer outpost um, or more aggressive outpost within that wee field. Wow, while well, keeping it nice and safe as opposed to keeping it on that hedgerow. Now, to Bexor here, pushing himself up into the point along with Andy, um, a B caster as well. To Bexor actually wipes the outpost from Burza. He pops around the corner, does get taken out by Burza. Good play from him. He's going to have to get his outpost back up, though. It is in a vulnerable spot. But he gets taken down. Nice shot there from Louis. Unfortunately, then gets traded out, but that's a worthwhile trade there um, against uh, Burza and Artista. So he's done well there. Louis' outpost is still alive. He is getting pressured by Artista. But for now, that was a, a fantastic trade there um, where they were able to just wipe that outpost from it within the point. We can see now a couple of squads have been reset backwards. Um, Smola's outpost is about to get pressured, though. Um, and I think it's going to get wiped from uh, by Red Pill and, and Makatozo here. Smola seems to know something is up, though. Outpost is pinging hot. Takes down Red Pill nicely through the wheat field. Makatozo is shooting towards him, though. Makatozo doesn't seem to have a total idea of where he is. Louis's got a little bit of high ground as well. Might be able to spot Makatozo here. But Smola making... Just making some smart plays here. Trying to just stay alive uh, for now. Terrible rocket, I mean. Louis, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you were aiming at there. Um... But that's certainly, don't rocket your own outpost. It, it's still alive. Makatozo here, just about staying alive here. Gets taken down, though, by B-Caster. Nice play there. You can see over within the strong point, though, it was contested for just a minute because Dushek here, um, currently the game's top killer. Hey, Polsky. It's good to see you, man. Oh, Dushek, nice play. Good spray transfer there. Doesn't get the beat on Andy, though. And Andy makes that trade. It is now being defended, though. Um, just about with enough sector presence here uh, from this uh, Esperal team. Artista's squad's going to need a few more people within it, though. It looks like Smola's outpost might have been wiped, but he's still alive at this stage. Um, up against Burza and uh, up against Red Pill. Um, he's done well here, Smola. Just uh, being a little ratty boy, if he can get that outpost back up, they can be a real nuisance here. But for now, I think it's a good move to get players spawned in onto Andy's outpost, um, which is up by that wall. Here's some shots, though. Louis pulled out the flamethrower. Oh, and he gets the kill as well. <laughs> I can't believe he's actually got the kill with a flamethrower. Unbelievable. Those shots coming out, though. Burza knows there's still players around here, though. Smola's just got to try and stay alive. He's, he's absolutely surrounded at this point. Um, in a really difficult spot here. But with three people in this strong point now, um, the, uh, the KGRR team uh, looking pretty good for the cap. They, you know, I know they just lost one player, but Dushek here being an absolute nuisance in here. Doesn't get taken out by Tabexor. He can't spray him down. Dushek now holds the angle. Gets Tabexor nicely. Well played. Now B caster. Going in for that 1v1 versus Dushek. Wouldn't want to be uh, on B caster's side here. Up against Lavi. He takes down Lavi, but Dushek's got his ears. He knows where B caster is. But Dushek gets caught unawares there. Jakob taking him down. And the cat pressure's back on. Artista's doing well just to stay alive. And um, just sitting within that bush there. Uh, very nice indeed. And um, trying to get his eyes onto that outpost. So I can't believe Shmola's still alive over here. This is crazy stuff. What is this? Birds are just going around the outside of this field. Doesn't want anything to do with the wheat anymore, but Smola's still about. Nice play from him. He probably needs to back off and get his outpost a little bit safer. Um, just so he can, uh, he can really get that pressure back in towards the point again. But this cap looks really nice for the moment. Artista goes down there. 
We can see Bcast is setting himself up nicely. Good position. Surely got that view on Dushek. He does. Nice play from him, covering that cross very nicely. And if he can get a little bit aggressive here with that point being wiped, I don't know whether Nartis is going to be spawned back in for that, uh, uh, sec uh, the sector flip. So we'll see whether he can get that uh, outpost um, back alive again. Burz is going to just stay alive for his outpost. Or is he? Burz actually makes the run across. Artista to just stay alive. Um, but he pushes, unfortunately, um, for B-Caster gets taken down just at the wrong time. Uh, and is going to be able to get his outpost back up again now. Let's see Burz or anywhere. He might have actually got reset. Yeah, um, making that poor... Uh, poor push from uh, from his outpost there. Should have just stayed alive. Some players holding angles here, though. Artista, he is alive. Just needs to keep his outpost alive. To Bexel's right and by him, though. Dushek goes down. A little bit of a poor run from Dushek here. That's unfortunate for him. Done well so far with the 15 kills. Um, so far. But this cap came so late into the game, we actually only have just under two minutes left. Uh, we're going to need to get some aggression here. Trade between Tebexa and Artista. But I don't think Artista got that outpost back up again, uh, which is going to be crucial for this. Um, as, uh, as that's totally wiped the point out really now. We do have um, Burza there up on the roof. Nice little location for him, able to uh, cover a lot of this cross here. Um, but with two squad leaders wiped from the point, um, it's going to take a little minute for them to get back into it. Red Pills um, coming directly in. We might even see Artista come in the same way as well. It's now a little bit of contest going on, um, but that's just all sector pressure, really. Uh, they just, you know, with those two spawns that came in there, um, not too much to worry about. They've really narrowed off here and really just focusing um, with Andy's outpost um, onto this uh, strong point now. One minute to go uh, in this game. We'll see. Louis holding them up here. Is he using the trench gun? Oh, God. Love that. Lavi's still about, though. Louis's going to pop up here. Going to get caught, unfortunately. And he was holding a crucial location there. Lavi now gets aggressive and pushes. And at this stage, with just uh, 35 seconds to go on the cap, um, we do see cap pressure come in as the KG, um, KGR, sorry, the uh, Esperal team uh, get aggressive. The Smola failing at getting up inside the hopper. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Don't make me watch you for the rest of this. Oh, we might have to give Smola some training lessons for start one. Don't use medic. That's not the play. Get yourself on the uh, on the rifleman. Well, Artista narrows off, takes it into uh, takes it into Burz's outpost, and we're gonna see here it is being defended. Just about. Or is it being capped again? This is really close here. Um, each kill trade is crucial. And we're into overtime at this point. So a good end towards the end of this first game now. And we see Lavi holding up the Artista and Dushek holding up Red Pill now. Just playing narrow here. They've got all the players within the sector that they need. They just need to get those one or two more crucial kills. Andy's outpost is incredibly safe, though. And at this stage, no one's really moving anywhere. And the MG's in a good spot. Red Pill looks like he's going to get a little bit aggressive, using that rocket to his advantage. Artista against Smola there. Smola can't finish his dinner, though. Red Pill misses his first shot. And with the car 98, he's vulnerable there. But he does take down Bcaster, who's got aggressive. Red Pill pushes round here, doesn't get Andy. MG holding that corner nicely. This is what you want that MG for, just to really hold that corner. Andy peaks it, though, regardless. Smola gets taken down at the same time. And it is still being capped here. To Bexor goes down to Lavi. Jacob right up close to Burza. Burza gets taken down, though. Jacob gets to reload. Lavi. Rocket goes in, doesn't get the kill, though. It's a nice try. Oh, great play from Jakob there. Hops to fence, gets the kill, and that is now being contested. But Jakob goes down, and that's another point in towards this cap. We'll see how long this cap goes for here. With just six players, it's difficult. Rockets going in everywhere. Finally seeing the rockets being used. It's a good hit from Red Pill, though, uh, to take down Andy. The B-Caster's getting aggressive, trying to hold that angle against Lavi. Hitting the edge of that wall. Doesn't get the kill, but does just hold them back here. Allows Smola to get a little bit more aggressive. Lavi goes down. 
Gets traded out, though. And we are slowly getting the defense on here. But just one more kill will be the difference here. In terms of whether this stays capped uh, or whether it gets capped. I think that was a team kill. I <laughs> think Smoly got taken down by a team kill. I'm not entirely sure. But how many spokes are we putting out now, boys? I mean, I don't know who spokes they are, but I think they are um, KGRR smokes here. Burza gets aggressive. Makatozo gets aggressive. Different results, though. Makatozo, uh, real force here. Playing very, very well indeed. Grenades going out, trying to just hold this little barn area. It's being contested at this stage. Almost three minutes into overtime now. Louis holding a great angle there, uh, just around the top of, uh, or off the top of this little barn area. But the problem is they've got no one actually really particularly holding um, this side. Smola now and Louis recognize that. Jakob there does get the kill in the end. And we're just very slowly seeing this come out. Red Bull going for the wide attack here. Tries to take down Andy. Gets the kill. Should be able to see Louis as well. Gets the headshot on Louis nicely. Can't get B-caster though, unfortunately. And that was a good roll of the dice there from Red Pill. We will see. I think this is going to be first round. Goes to KGRR. Great game there. Really, really nice indeed. Great play from KGRR to come back in there towards the end. And the map changes. So I'm going to take a quick break, grab a drink. Here's the, uh, here's the scores. Uh, but I'm going to flip over to the stats screen here so you can just see uh, see these stats uh, before we go for this break. Um, Dushek there um, playing really, really well with those, uh, those 19 gills. And, and Smola with that wide flank um, was absolutely crucial. But I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back when this game gets going again.
Alrighty, the game has kicked off. We're at the end of the warm-up period already. We have got Dugout for our point right now, which is going to be really, really nice to see. I think Dugout's going to be a real fun one. Can get some really nice close-up action amongst these uh, these broken vehicles here and around this house. Um, if they dive one of the trucks in as well, um, they'll be able to get on top of this little uh, roof area here. Um, and uh, and really cause some chaos there. There's some lovely MG spots as well that you can you can pick up um, from the this housing area here. There's a little grain feeder um, which you can use, uh, which can totally dominate um, this road here, which is one of the key sections uh, within the map here. But as we see, um, one garrison going up here from KGR, going to get another one narrow as well, and then one being built um, over on this left hand side. Looks like the Esperal team absolutely diving in. Already getting that early cap pressure, putting one of those trucks into the point already. Artista, um, the man again uh, to be narrow right alongside Dushek. Now, this is the man we want to follow, obviously. Um, being the top killer from the last game, he's where the action is, it seems. But he's making really good progress already. Um, all the way up to the hedgeway with no contest. Looks like... This KGRR team are taking a delayed approach into it, but this, the problem with this is they're going to allow NZN, uh, the, the Esperal team, uh, to get themselves set up and, uh, you know, and look, here we see this is going to be Artista, right? Yeah, a little bush boy Artista uh, from the last game. This is such a great angle he can hold from. Um, he can hold across this field here. He can hold this road here. Um, and there's just such such good locations they can uh, he, he can shoot from. We'll see if Dushek makes a move here. Absolutely camoed up, though, inside this point. To Bexor. He's going to be the one to go challenge Dushek, as was the case in the first game as well. First shots go in. Dushek early kills. Takes down to Bexor nicely. Mark goes out. They know he's out there this time. Andy, the one being narrowed off again, but Dushek gets that early first blood. Bcus has got aggressive here, um, switched into automatic rifleman this time. He's up close and personal with Makatozo here, though. Um, who is he? Just in the bush? Hang on, where is he? Hey, look at him, little bush boy. Oh, man, he is constantly laying down in bushes, though. You love to see, love to see angles like this, um, where he can really just dominate this whole road here. They're just about defending it, though. Beacaster must just be in the center circle there. Um, Jakob as well now starting to make his way forward. Um, now that Beacaster's got a friend, he can move a little bit further forward. Um, he's going to come up against Artista, though, who surely he's going to get... He's going to spot this, is he not? He's facing the wrong way for now. But he, if he just peeks this very slightly, he's going to get two very easy kills here. Because Beacaster and Jakob... And now even... This is going to be to Bexor. Jakob goes, oh, there you go. Artista with the three kills. Lovely cleanup of that attack there. Really, really nice from Artista. Gets that, uh, gets that view very, very nice indeed. Oh, look, we've got this wide flank again, though. Exactly the same as last game here. Burza and Lavi, they're going to be able to just squeeze on this, uh, this attack here um, and really get the pressure on. Not able to take down the garrisons. Um, they are going to have to only play within this, the, the four square uh, once they get there. But for now, going to have to have a little bit of a KGR regroup. Red Pill's got a good angle. Makotoza's got a good angle as well. Dushek's back into his little spot as well. Or, you know, he didn't move really. So he's now started to push forward here. And if they're not careful, this could be pretty early boxing out of uh, the KGRR team here. Um, thanks to uh, thanks to that wide squad from Berza. Um, and then Dushek here taking this wider move. They've already been spotted. They must be making something warm. It's got this garrison making it warm. They've tracked their movements all the way across. So they do know that they are out there. But here we go. Smola, once again, Smola's being a little, little ratty boy. Um, and he's got himself wide as well. Um, crucial thing for him, he just needs to be able to find where their outposts are. It's all about intel. Got a lot of this game to play as yet. Um, so if he can just get a little bit of intel, find out where those outposts are, a couple of quick wipes on an outpost really will clean this game up for them um, pretty quickly here. We see Tabexor gets a good kill there onto Red Pill. Really nice indeed, but Dushek makes his play around the back of 
um, to Bexel. And he manages to squeeze that attack off very nice indeed. Unfortunately, they're having to divert just a couple of people out this way now uh, towards um, the Berza squad. But we've got one player spawning back on the garrison, Jakob, uh, who's going to try and squeeze them from the other direction as well um, with Louis uh, grabbing that early uh, kill there. Dujek, um, he's going to come face to face with Tobexor again. Tobexor, not paying attention though, not looking, neither is Dujek. Dujek does get that kill, does just about transfer his spray across onto Tobexor there. Ball from Tobexor needs to just be a little bit slower on that peak. Um, he even takes down Louis as well, he was shooting at something, but I don't know what. Um, not seeing anything out there, he might have already got the kill on him. And he's got himself pretty far up into the point now. Um, it's unfortunate though, because he can't really get that outpost forward, um, as it would be vulnerable. Red Pill kind of knows he's there though. Um, these are some really, really good little bush spots here. Um, if you're a little, a little campy boy. Let's take a quick look at our map though. Um, we still have Smoler here, and um, been a bit of a nuisance. Um, B-Cast is spawning behind, I'd like to see, like almost like a full flip. Uh, and just try and base trade this and um, because Swoler is in a lovely position just to stay well defended and hidden um, If he just stays alive uh, out there, then uh, he can uh, he can provide that one cap pressure and towards the point um, but then also um, Keep his outpost up from a different angle as well Bcast and um, sneaking his way through but Red Pill seems to know that Smoler is out there Seems to have some sort of idea potentially pinging hot on the, one of those garrisons um, that they'll have built on the way in. But we see how aggressive now um, they've managed to get. Berza has pushed all the way through uh, from his flank. Uh, looks like they might have you know, even actually uh, wipes out Andy's outpost. They managed to get the kill onto Andy, which is crucial. Tobexel goes down, um, and then he loses his gunfight uh, to Dushek there, um, getting his fourth kill of this round. But just for now, it's in control of the NCN squad. They are being flanked, though, at this stage. We do have these players coming in, Jakob. And we've got B-Cast slowly making their way through together again. They are going to get flanked from uh, this side here, from Artista, though, um, who actually wipes the outpost, and, uh, and Smola does get himself his new one up uh, over on that road. Don't seem to have any idea that they're coming from that side for now, though. At least Makatozo doesn't. Getting some shots here as well. Louis trying to win his gunfight um, down here, just trying to get the uh, trying to get the angle with the binos. Doesn't quite see him though. And that's just going to leave Lavi free. Pop the highlights back on because I didn't realise they'd uh, they'd fallen off. Dushek just holding this angle, but he's going to maybe get caught by Jakob if he's not careful. Jakob's really slowly, methodically making his way through this point here. In fact, he might even spot Red Pill. He can hear the gunshots coming from where he is. And Red Pill does have a nice little angle. You must say it's a good little bit of cover. Um, using that truck very cleverly there. Um, can use that both directions as well. Um, be able to use that to look back over to the hedge and towards the point if they need it. Jakob doesn't seem to have an idea of exactly where he is though. So he's leaving him for now. Just for now. Nothing going on. Pretty slow, deliberate play here. See, Artista's back into the point with his outpost now. And we are seeing that little bit of a base trade happen here. We've got Louis, is, uh, he's making his way through. And then we've got uh, Andy here. Just trying to pressure um, this Burza squad from a different angle. Let's see if we can find Andy. Should just be below me any second now. Whoop. There he is, making his way up the road. A bit of a long road for you to start running up, you must say. Um, he knows this player's out there. It's for that safer route. Out towards this point, though, looks like we just had a little bit of a gunfight there. Makatozo did win that one. He's going to pressure this outpost here. This could be pretty dangerous now as he, uh, as he walks his way towards it. Does get the wipe on it um, with no squad leader alive. Uh, that area is now going to be sewn up and uh, and completed. Saw a little bit of cat pressure onto the point there, though. Uh, just as most of these players have uh, left the hard cap, um, Jakob's still in there providing that three times pressure. 
Nice kill onto Red Pill there. Onto that truck. I think that was Jakob there, getting that one. And he stays alive. I think it was, because Bursa seems to have a rough idea that there is someone within the point now. I think we saw there uh, to Bexor, off in the distance as well. He's going to come across Artista if he's not careful. Um, he's going to maybe even wipe this out base, and that's how he's going to know he's there. To Bexor, blast around the corner though. Got to not run. Sprints at that corner as fast as he can. Unfortunate, really. They do get the uh, do get the outpost, but Artista is just going to replace that one. And then Lavi, just in the center of our screen, there wins that engagement uh, versus Jakob. So they've cleaned up this point very, very nicely indeed. It's proven to be a real difficult point uh, to attack here. He has farm a little bit easier on that front um, than it is thus far. Louis's been totally reset once again. Let's take a look at our map here. Uh, Andy's made his way across the the, the hill, and uh, and Smola now going in towards the point. This is where it can start getting a little bit tasty. Um, if they can if they can get that pressure in, Smola, he's going for the crawl across the field though. I understand why. I mean, he's going to get picked off uh, regardless. I think surely Artista spots him, um, and he's going to get that kill. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't spot him. Surely he's going to kill him. There's no way Smola crawls... No, I was going to say, Artista takes him down. Um, doesn't get there in the end, unfortunately. Um, that's the problem with that uh, that western side, uh, is the fact that you do uh, you do end up crossing open fields, um, which is not overly enjoyable. Um, what do you see here, though? Just uh, nice little positions up here um, from Beecaster. Would have a view onto Burza. Does get taken down by Berzo, though. He's going to get killed by his own grenade. Makatozo goes down to Andy as well. Artista sat within the bush now. He hasn't moved at all, Artista. He's not going anywhere since his last kill. And it's just Andy within the point there. That's just a, just a truck exploding. Nothing particularly to worry about. Andy's outpost still perfectly safe, though. Allowing Jakob to get back into the fight. Jakob goes down though. Not sure who took him down. That might have even been Burza perhaps. Um, and Rocket there goes out from Lavi as well. So they know where they're coming from. They know those players up on this hill. Just need to be a little bit brave. I think Burza could probably make that push up that hill now. Um, though if he just delays it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do so. Got contest on the point though. We'll just see this gunfight and then we'll check the map to see where the fight is. To Bexor goes down to Berza, and we can see now Andy's in the point. Louis got himself far up as well. So unfortunately, Smola got himself wiped um, onto that western side, uh, which is real unfortunate because that would have been three outposts in nice locations to really surround this point here. But the cap pressure now coming in. Louis, Jakob, Smola wins that gunfight versus Berza. Andy's into the point as well. It's just Artista remaining here. This is a really good, quick, decisive attack here from KGRR. And they might even be able to wipe this pretty soon. Artista's taking shots, missing them, though, up against Smola. Smola doesn't quite have an idea of where he is, though. Does he really see through that bush? Maybe he does. Spawns come in onto Artista's outpost there. But Makatozo has spawned. Now Artista starts getting a little bit more aggressive. Andy's going to catch Artista unawares, is he? Turn! No! Oh, how have they not seen each other? They are stood right next to each other. Artista, he pokes out and Andy's looking the other way! <laughs> no way! He's going to go for the knife! <laughs> he doesn't get it. Andy gets the kill in the end. They were stood next to each other for so long. Makatozo doesn't win that gunfight versus Andy, though. The outpost is still alive. Dushek goes down to Smola. Smola, just charge it. Please wipe that out, Basti. He does indeed get it. And that's going to be surely this point sewn up here for KGRR um, with just five and a half minutes left to go. I can't believe that he went for the knife at that stage of the game. Could have been crucial just to win that one and keep the outpost alive. But now we see this point is absolutely sewn up here um, for KGRR. Um, all of their players within the point are really nice indeed. Now we've got... Um, Red Bull, he's been sucking in uh, to this west side. It's not the play, though. We know it's not the play. It's just open field to try and cross. 
If you're going to go for this route, don't go directly into the point. Try and get yourself all the way around the outside. They can't cover all this space, so the flanks are relatively easy. Um, and we can even see here, look at this. Uh, this is going to be Berzer again, isn't it? This outpost never actually got lost, so he's alive um, to replace it now. Um, and that's going to allow them uh, to attack from a different angle and allow them to get that surround onto the point. And as we saw, um, getting the surround is absolutely crucial um, to be able to make uh, make the cap happen, as you do have to squeeze it pretty quickly. Louis here, looking to just hold this angle, does manage to catch Red Pill. Doesn't see Makatozo, though. Makatozo's got an idea of where Louis is. But now Louis should be able to hold this by himself, really. Even with the, even if he does die, there should be time to spawn again um, before they make it across here. Um, and if he does die, potentially you just uh, you just grab a friend to cover it while you're gone um, from a different angle. This western side should be pretty well defended by Louis, though. Oh, actually, Makatozo is going to make a bit of a charge across here. Louis, surely he's spotted him. I don't think he has. He's not popping his head up. Pops his head up now, gets the gunfight versus Makatozo in one. Lovely play from him. Good snap onto his target. Let's go check out over this way, though. Uh, we see Jakob here uh, and Andy. They know that there's some infantry coming in. This is going to be Artista again, isn't it? Um, making his way through. And, um, of course, naturally, as soon as I snap onto him, he's in a in a bush. Um, Dushek here with just a seven kill so far. A bit of a slower-paced game, this one, uh, than the last where we had that chaos again. Um, we do, however, have this sort of final three minutes. They need to throw everything they can at it and just stay alive as you make your way towards this point and, and then suddenly spring into that hard cap and uh, you're certainly uh, certainly taken by surprise and could, could even uh, could even get that, that quick cap with the... Uh, by just uh, wiping one of those outposts down. We're seeing now, though, na narrowing off from uh, this, uh, this KGRR team. And this is, I think, where they play their best. Uh, when it's coming down to this uh, this crunch time, uh, they can play quite cagey here um, and just really slow this down. Lavi's holding this angle, but again, holding the angle is all well and good. But when you've got under three minutes um, of this game left, under two minutes, really. Uh, no, it's just under three minutes of this game left. So finishes at uh, one hour, seven minutes. Um, you gotta got to make that pressure at some point. Buzz's outpost got wiped. Didn't quite catch that one. Unfortunately, because he was in a good location to really make a good play, but with two, you know, two squad leaders out there, you got Red Pill and Burza. Not sure that's the one. Just probably got to throw it up the middle of this map. I think we can see Smiley gets his outpost down inside the point. Andy's in there as well. They don't need to move too much. Just got a delay at this stage. They've got no one covering the front door, though. It kind of surprises me. Smoler, I think maybe he catches Dushek unawares. Nice play from Smoler. Um, he's just got to keep holding the angle, though. Keep looking that way. I know it can be tempting to go, uh, go look at the gunfires, gunfights elsewhere, but you got to have someone look at the front door. There's only so many ways into this point. If I take a quick zoom out, you'll see they've got pretty much everything locked down. Smoler even wins that gunfight there um, against Artista. Could have been Andy, even. But Louis got this western side locked down pretty well. Smola and Jakob have got this uh, this front side locked down pretty well as well. Becaster surely going to catch Dushek here. There you go, one shot, one kill, no fuss about that. Dushek's having to get a little bit aggressive now, and Andy takes the lead in terms of uh, top kill. So he was the one to take down Artista. Is Andy holding this angle again though? I I hope he is. He does need to. They know they're spawning out there. Smoler getting a little bit, a little bit antsy. He's starting to push very slightly. Artis is going to follow up as well. Smoler, look, come on, buddy. Someone cover this front door. I don't understand. You know they've got players out there. You've killed one yourself coming from that direction. So why you're not looking there, I don't know. I don't think this is going to cost them the game because that outpost slightly too far out the cap, uh, cap circle to really make that difference. But Dushek getting aggressive here. Firing onto Smola does get the kill there. This is where the danger comes in now. 20 seconds to go. A little bit of a quick rush. Smola's out by still in the point. Dushek pops himself around. Andy gets the kill though. Nice. Good ears from Andy. Straight back towards Artista as well. I think he sees him. Can't quite get the shot on him though. Red Pill making the cross. Gets taken down by Andy. 
Good defensive play from Andy here. And that's going to be the game there. I think that's going to be 2-0 to KGRR as they just close this game off and really spoil it towards the end. Really, really nice play indeed. And out on this western side, um, we saw Louis there just making his way um, uh, back in towards the point to not allow that. So... Great game there. Really, really nice uh, play indeed from those guys. Um, let's take a quick look at the stats um, before I close the stream off. Um, though, very excitingly, um, it within, well, for me in about an hour's time, um, for you guys in about an hour and 15, um, I'm going to have another game. We're going to have Kerberos uh, against Hated in the ECL Division 2. Um, bit of a German derby there. Um, so that is going to be a lot of fun um, to come watch. Come hang out for that one as well. Um, that That's going to be, at, uh, well, the game kicks off for me um, at... Uh, 8 p.m. Central European time with a 15-minute delay. So come come hang out again at 8.15 Central European time. That's uh, that's 7.15 UK time. Uh, and uh, and you can come watch Kerberos versus Hated. But for now, we've got the 6v6 tournament over. This game goes to KGRR. Very, very nice indeed. Um, if you want to get involved in it, um, just get in touch with me. Um, and uh, and I can certainly get you get you in touch with the, the organizers um, from NZN. Uh, who have uh, who have graciously asked me to to cast this game today? Uh, I'm gonna keep your ears out and eyes out for uh, for more games in the future, because um, this was certainly uh, a lot of fun. So take care, guys. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and uh, I'll hopefully see you later for Kerberos versus Hated.